Mr. Swenson, how are you? I'm doing great, Gail. It's been forever. It has. Long enough that you got a little growth going on. Just a little bit. Yeah, looks good. Thank you. Yeah. So what do we got going on today? We have the Seiko Grand Burrito. Something new. A Something burrito. New. A burrito. Yeah. So how is that different from a barista? I'm not quite sure. Me neither. It doesn't make any difference. It's but just I, a name. <laughs> but I really like the machine. Yeah, me too. It's really nice. So tell me about what makes this machine different since it resembles an Expralia. Uh huh. What makes this machine different? Um, you know, I think... Here, I can tell you. Okay, you no, go. go ahead. You go. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> well, there are a lot of things. Well, first of all, let's kind of go through the specs, and then while we're going through those, we'll, You'll go, get some of the features. we'll go through the individual things here. Yep. Um, so some of the standard things here is a 9.5 ounce bean hopper in the back, um, which is really nice. And as always, you have five adjustable spots for the grind. Yep. Um, that's going to a ceramic burr grinder. Yep which is really nice. Yeah. And here's one of the new things with this machine. Uh -huh, that drum roll, please. There we go, yeah. the removable bean hopper. It comes with an extra bean hopper, like this. And this is a little gate valve down here that when you pull the lever up there, it shuts off the bean flow. Mm -hmm. And then you take that off. Here, I'll do it. So Got it? Here, I'll get it for you. Oh, it's already in the, oh, where is it? There. Sometimes this can be just a little bit difficult. Because what you're doing is that you're actually crushing beans yep. if there's a bean in that gate. There, this is full of beans. So we could take and put decaf in here and underneath here is the adjustment for the grinder. Mm -hmm. The five settings right under there. So we can put this one back in and uh, burn off some uh, beans in there. Yep. And this machine has a setting for when you take this off, there's a setting in the menu where you can burn off the beans and they go down into the dregs box, whatever's left in here in the grinder. Exactly. So that you're starting with your fresh again. Yeah, so this is obviously ideal for someone that's interested in caffeinated beans and decaf beans in one machine. Yep. So what you would wanna do if you were switching is take out your caffeinated beans, put in your decaf beans, and then you'll wanna burn off, you'll just wanna grind some because there will be uh, you know, caffeinated beans in your dosage chamber, essentially, and you want to get those all out so you know you just have decaf beans. We're doing the wave here. That's the path of the coffee in the machine. That's what, that's what it's doing. Love it. So that's, uh, that's one of the nice features of this machine. Yeah, and it's yeah. Really, I think it's really cool that they have something in the software for that yep. to address that and something physically. I yep. think that's really cool. Yep, it's nice. Okay, so onto the water path. So right over here we have our water tank lid, let's move our cup here. And in there, Gail is pulling out, it comes with the top, it's kind of all one piece, it's sealed there at the bottom. That's a 57 ounce water tank. That's pretty good for the size of the machine. You'll note this machine is much skinnier than most machines on the countertop. Mm -hmm. About the same height, depth, uh, similar, maybe a little bit deeper, but mostly it's a skinny machine. And that's one of the things I like about it. And it's an kind of specific to this is it's only eight inches wide. and It's an Expralia on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. um, and with that, you know, we have our water tank going to a single boiler and then coming in here. This is some of the other new things. This um, is the latch on the door I noticed when yeah. I was playing with it. It's kind of cool. Yep. Um, we have our drip tray come out with our dredge box. Um, but then the cool thing is, and this is big news for us here because we're really familiar with Seiko machines, is this brewing unit. It's very different. It's, it's extremely different. And it comes in and out very easily too. I've noticed it's much easier than the old brew units in the machines. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, just, that's it, different. You know, um, we're not going to get into the specifics, but it, it's it's just a different style brew unit. Um, yep. One that's very similar to other manufacturers, so it'll be interesting to see how that style works with this uh, Seiko machine. Yeah. And this comes out, you know, so you just have your drip tray and your dredge box assembly in there, it goes right back in. And just like the other machines, there's a drip tray on the front that goes with the spouts, so when you open the door and the spouts go blah, 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 hmm. it's going to go down in the drip tray instead of on your floor or hmm. countertop. Um, which is we, nice. That is very nice. Mm -hmm. We have our carafe here, um, which can be replaced with a hot water spout, which is very nice. It's very similar to the Intellia line. Yep. So you can just get that right in there. And now if you want hot some water. hot water for tea or whatever, you have that. So mm -hmm. that's really, really nice. This machine does not come with a separate steam arm. You have to use the one touch. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. There's no manual steaming with this machine. The uh, drip tray on this, and I put this machine together out of the box. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ram, ram. Oh. why won't this come off? And I'm like, Ugh, I had to get a manual out. And you know I love manuals. <laughs> There's a lever under here. Oh, look at that. It's 
spring loader release. So that's how that comes off in case you folks at home want to save yourself the anxiety of trying to get that off the first time. Mm -hmm. So we've kind Spout. of gone through... Spouts that go up and oh, down. Oh yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. We've kind of gone through all the physical mm -hmm. specs. Um, stainless steel. Stainless steel. Plastic on the sides, stainless trim. It's very nice, very nice appearance. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes when you deal with um, machines that have a lot of customization and things like that, you end up with this big, big machine. But oh, this yeah. is so small and sleek, mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. The spouts come off, so if you want to do a, a tall cup. Oh, look at that. Yep. This just divides your coffee into two spouts, mm -hmm. double shots. Um, so some of the other things as far as the software is concerned with this machine. Um, over here we have our four milk-based drinks, and over here we have our four coffee-based drinks. Mm -hmm. um, and we can customize three different users on here. So if I come over here. Three user profiles. Yeah, exactly. So right now we're kind of in the main menu. We can come down to coffee profiles here. Um, and now we have all these different profiles, and we have user one set up. Um, and if we come to that, yeah, there you go. Now you have all eight different drinks right here that you can customize. For user number one. Exactly. And then you can go through and enable that user. So everything out here is what's customized, That you know everything that you've set up. Or you have the choice to do things on the fly, as we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of whatever you choose. But one of the interesting things is, is that we have the American coffee. Yeah, that's another feature this machine has. Instead of using the uh, full nine bars of pressure, it will make what's called an American coffee and it cuts back the pressure that the pump is putting out. Mm -hmm. It makes it taste more like a drip coffee. Mm -hmm. It totally does. Yep, and you can program that too for temperature, strength, mm -hmm. uh, volume. Exactly, let's do it. So I'm gonna come here. We're in our profile right now, so we can set up all this stuff. We have the strength, coffee amount, and temperature. And for American coffee, that's really all you're concerned with. Mm -hmm. If we come back to you know a milk-based drink, like a cappuccino, and select that, we're gonna have strength, coffee amount, temperature, taste, milk amount. So depending on the drink, you have a lot of different things that yeah. you, you have the choice to set. Well, if you, if, if this is at user one, the only thing you would have to do if you want, if you're user two, you'd have to get into the menu and just pick user two. Mm -hmm. And then whatever you've programmed for that will come up on your exactly. uh, user profile. So what do you think? What you wanna make? I think we should make a cappuccino. Okay. So what's important on this is that this is pushed over until it clicks. Otherwise it doesn't work. Gotcha. So. That is good to know. It's, yeah. That's off. And now That's all the way over. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's the one touch magic right here. There we go. Macchiato. There we go. Now we're doing five out of six in terms of the strength. That's what right it's programmed now, for. If, yeah, if we, and if we wanted to change it right now, we could because it's still in the grinding phase. <clears throat> Where's my donut? <laughs> I think this is a, a, a very nice machine. You know, I've been working at our new um, uh, Alderwood store mm -hmm. in Linwood. Uh, we moved it from our headquarters over to the Alderwood Mall. And unfortunately, there's uh, several choices of pastries for my morning delights. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, it was a souffle. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this is going to add up pocketbook-wise and waistband-wise. <laughs> So if you see me in a couple of months, around this is November right now, around Christmas time, and I look like I'm a little more portly, it's probably true. <laughs> we'll have to get you out of that Alderwood location. Yeah, it'd be nice to have folks come by and see us. Mm -hmm. So that's the default programming. I think you're right. I'd probably take it back on the volume of the coffee, just a tad. And maybe up on the amount of milk. Yep. So but I'd... that's what you have, you know, you have those choices. Exactly. So we should, I'm going to go through and take a look just so we know. Mama Mia, that is hot. <laughs> Here, try that. That's very hot. That's one thing. It's got the temperature going on. That is really hot. Mm hmm But that's really good, too. We should make a... Hold on, let's, I just want to, let's go in here and just kind of take a look real quick. Coffee profiles. That's Oops. another thing that this uh, new carafe will make the milk hotter than the old carafes. 
Yeah, we brought the. So right, right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just looking at the um, settings for the drink we just made. Okay. So this should be five out of six because we saw that. Yep. So there it is. But let's go look down at our milk amount because it did seem like there wasn't yep. a lot of milk in there. I agree. Let's um, change that. And look at that. It's oh. it's it's it for whatever reason. Five it's seconds. A, yeah, it's five seconds of milk. So now I could come in here because I didn't like that drink that much, and we can increase this. That looks good. You know, to right about. Let's do that. Yep. Now we're gonna hit check. Yeah. Don't, no. <laughs> Let, let's look at the temperature. You said it was so hot. What temperature was that at? That was normal. at normal. So let's we try could, high. We let's could see even what, bust that to high. I'm gonna do go. some um, testing with that. And uh, coffee amount. Let's look at that. You said you wanted to bring that down, right? A little bit. Yeah. Let's just bring it down two. So right now, Select. this coffee drink has been sitting here. Strength. Let's go up one. There we go. It's been sitting here while you were playing with that, and I'm already up to 145. That's yeah, and that's what they say. They say anywhere between okay. 140 and 150, which is great. Well, it's been sitting too. Yeah. So who knows what it was like coming right it's out? It's 148 right now. It's still rising, but anyway. That's great. Okay, so I guess we'll just make it down into this one. Yeah, let's do it. That's a good idea. Okay. And now, so now we're kind of doing the settings that we, you know, that we like a little bit more. Insert the carafe. I've already done that. <laughs> there we go. 138. That's still. I would want more milk. Did we save mm -hmm. those settings? That we looks like. Go, yeah, it almost does look like the same amount. Yeah, looks like the same amount. Maybe we didn't save them properly. That, that could be true. And like any coffee drink, you don't yeah. like what you're getting, you can interrupt it. Just stop it right away. Yeah, just wanted to point that out. So, um, do we want to make any other drinks? I don't think so. Let's just out of curiosity, you want to look at the dredge box real quick? Just yeah. see what it looks like? Sure. See what these, see what these pucks are turning out like? Mm-hmm. Sure. Open our nice little door here. Yeah, that was the other thing I was having trouble getting open the first day. Oh, they look good. They look great. I mean, yeah. it looks like... Um, Can you see that? Yeah, those look good. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not very wet. You know what I want to make is a shot. Just a single shot. Yeah, I just want to see what that's all about. Boom. Five. Out of six, yep. they have it programmed for the default setting. There you go. <laughs> Gail and her thermometer. Pre infusion. Mm -hmm. Wait time. We didn't talk about that, but it has that. How are we looking? 145, 7, 51. 151 the highest? No, no, we're getting, I'm just looking here. Oh, got it. 179. Oh, wow, that's good. In the spout, it's coming out. Now <laughs> in the drink itself, 160. <laughs> 160.2. That's, that's pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, that's. I'd say that's very comparable. It had the Guinness thing going on. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, that's good. That's bonsai blend, by the way. Just for a point of reference. That's very good. Yeah, it's that's good. good. It's nice and smooth. Okay, one out of five. What do you rate the machine? Uh, I made a coffee on it earlier, which we haven't done here. We made an Americano. I thought it was good. It tasted like a, uh, well, it tasted more like a drip to me. Um, I would give it a uh, nine. Yeah, well, I said one out of five. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said one out of ten. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, I know you did. It's still a nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a nine. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually right with you. The only thing I don't like is just, I like manually steaming. And that's oh. the only thing I don't like about the machine, but that's just how the machine comes. That's so. one of the things you can't do with this machine. Yeah. True, but I mean, the, most people, I think that most people that buy the, a machine like this with this feature, yeah. this is what they use. Exactly. It's kind of for the modern coffee drinker, yeah. um, someone that just wants to hit a button, have it just kind of delivered yep. to them right there. You know what? I noticed that this does not do the, the Expralia and the Excelsis. It doesn't clean the carafe. 
It didn't clean the carafe. Oh, you're right. There was no rinse cycle for the carafe. No, there's nowhere for it because it doesn't have that the uh, head and the handle on it. There's nowhere to rinse it through and then down into the drip mm -hmm. tray. So that's, that's right. So that that's a good. That's that, a really good observation. That might be. Now let's just out of curiosity. Let's. That might be for some people a con, but I don't see it as being a biggie myself. There, yeah, and it just it's not auto. It looks like we do have a carafe cleaning. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure what's all entailed. Maybe it is just a rinse, maybe it's not. Well, well. Oh, okay, just do it. She's going to hit yes. I want to see what's going to happen. So on other Seiko models, like Gail was saying, there is kind of just an auto rinse. Um, every time you make a milk-based drink, oh. it just kind of, it's, there's an auto rinse for you. Refill the water tank. Okay then. See if I can get a little water in there. Does it does it need to be refilled? Yeah, I don't. Well, it might just need. That's plenty of water. Yeah, here, put it back down. I'll hit the check mark. I think it just wants to make sure. Oh, it wants you to look at it. Mm -hmm. huh? I'm just okay. hoping that they're not. The machine isn't expecting some sort of solution. See, I see it. It is. It's oh, okay. It's, so you yeah. put a solution in here, and it's going to run it through. So essentially, what we just discovered is there's no rinse for the craft. No, a, but a it, there's a cleaning rinse. system there that is, where yeah. it runs it and runs it down into a cup or something. Which is so, cool. So hey, that's learning a, on the fly. That's a little bit of a negative, you mm. know, because it's nice to be able to rinse your essentially your milk circuit it in is. the top here to get all the milk out. It is, but so, I don't think it's huge. It's but not. it is. It is. I would say that what a small con. You have to be a, a diligent cleaner. Well, you should be with these anyway. <laughs> exactly. Totally. <laughs> Again, don't use oily beans with this. Um, you want to use your drier beans. It does have a bypass doser, which one scoop, we didn't have, uh, address that, but it does have mm -hmm. a bypass doser, mm -hmm. in case you don't want to switch this out. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's a pretty good machine all around. I give it a four out of five. I do too, I give all it right. a four out of five. I think it's a great machine for, you know, for what it is and everything it offers. Yeah, so let's all go back to our day jobs. Yeah, exactly. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. Thanks, Gail. Yep.